need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I've had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. One of ours, let him in. Hey, Corporal St. John, how's it going? Corporal, Deacon, good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or for the militia, you know, I mean. It does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross, Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross, I don't know him, but uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. Hey, Corporal St. John. Uh, I... oh, Jesus. Did you hear what happened to Dr. Menace? What a crew slit his throat ear to ear. This stole some drugs, I heard. Yeah, I, uh, I heard was a good guy. I, I had an infection on my right arm. Thought I was gonna lose it, but, but he saved it. Uh, my, my arm. Saved my life. Yeah, uh, the doc was... he was all right. <laughs> Yep, good, good old high octane gasoline. Coming right up. C Corporal St. John, I'll, I'll see you around. I got the gate. Colonel, I've spotted that uh, cult that you asked me to check out. I'm gonna deal with them. Very good, Corporal. Keep me posted. Carry it out.
gonna happen? Where's the leader? Where's Carlo? Oh, that's right, he's dead! I killed him, huh? Him, he was me! Oh, but Carlos, he ain't resting in peace. He's feeding the fucking freak! What a guy. Colonel, reporting in that, uh, that cult, R.I.P., they're no longer a threat. Corporal, yes. It's a curious thing. I finally read the complete report filed by Captain Thompson. Seems they followed them for quite some time before engaging. Evidently, they called themselves Rest in Peace. Seemed to worship the freaks. Strive to become just like them. Well, that's pretty fu that's pretty messed up, sir. We're all soldiers here, Corporal. I'm not offended by coarse language. But men like that, rest in peace, they offend me. Yes, sir. They offend me because they show what the world has come to. We, Corporal St. John, are all that stand between the world and the abyss. Y yes, sir. St. John out. Doesn't look too bad. There we go. Scrap. Still got this. This is it.
Okay, let's see. What's going on here? There you are.
lot of goddamn motors. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Ethan. I presume, uh, yeah? How are you doing? Corporal. Man? man, am I glad to see you. Yeah? You didn't want to join up with those assholes? Hell no. And I had no idea what they were going to do to me. Yeah, well, it wasn't going to be good. Uh, are you good to get out of here on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. were getting low last time I was up Colonel, the reporting is ordered. Corporal St. John, I'm hearing good things about you from Lieutenant Weaver and Sarah. Lieutenant Winnaker, they say you're doing a fine job. Well, thank you, sir. I'm just trying to be of service. I've got another job for you. Drifters have set up camp southeast of here along Highway 97. They're using hit-and-run tactics. They hit our supply runs, then run back to their camp like the cowards they are. It appears they've created a defensive position on the rooftop of an old gas station. I've marked it on your map. I've consulted Captain Curry, and he feels it would be best to send in a single soldier. Someone who works well alone. Who might be able to use the element of surprise. Yes, sir. I can do that. Very good, Corporal. Report to me when the mission is complete. Dismissed.
Hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts? Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry up. Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. God damn it. Heading out to find you a new. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts? Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry up. <sighs> Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sir, I'm here. All right. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like... Teensy tabby or something. I'm surprised the colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands off. I've been running blood tests on several youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. <laughs> That's it. Another bounty. Got you. Right on target. Get in there. Finally. Jesus. Got you, you little shit. Oh, Jesus.
Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. Gary right. Hill. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Hold on, just a few seconds. you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! But you're, you're... You're not making a bioweapon. You're... Oh, my God. Are you, are you... Are you trying to cure it? I thought... Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. Boozer, Boozer, you know, he's, <laughs> he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years, but I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are. They're trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off. Going back.
back to Cloverdale. They get better equipment. We're gonna dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I, I think you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south. You ride in there. You get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs, ammo, in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Again? Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more a horde. That's your plan. <sighs> That's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Locke's got nothing to do with it. All right. I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that.
please just tell me that's all of them. I can't believe it. You did it. You wiped out an entire horde. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Sarah, are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John, reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker, and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out.